Here we have an 1883 non-compression flame ignition spool valve crown gas pumping engine from New York City. This is a very early engine made in uh, New York City as I said. It was designed to run on illuminating gas which was the gas pipe throughout the cities of that era for use in uh, gas lighting for streets and for houses. Um, the gas line comes into the engine, goes through a throttling valve. The little tiny tube you see uh, goes to the slide valve or a spool valve area. It's actually for the reignition flame. It's not a hot tube chimney, this is flame ignition. There's a little set screw here which is used to control the uh, size of the actual flame ignition flame itself. There's two spool valves. The spool valves on this engine are connected by eccentrics and they go in and out to control flame and they control the intake and exhaust gas of the engine. The eccentrics are located on the on the crankshaft between the two bearings. Piston is a very simple uh, loose piston with one bronze ring. Attached to the piston is a, a walking beam or a, a bell crank if you will and that goes down with a connecting rod to a water pump. The water pump is a pipe from a, a water source whether it be in the basement or a uh, water trough or catch basin from the uh, drain water from the eaves of a roof and this engine was used to pump that water from its uh, basement location up to a cistern in the attic and would supply the uh, needed water for the house for the day or for a week or whatever period of time it needed. So it was designed for intermittent use run maybe 10-15 minutes a day uh, very convenient little package for its day. You didn't have to worry about starting up a fire in a boiler or heating up a large, large hot air engine to do the job. Unusual piece. There's only a few of these left in the world. Um, this particular engine is here in our shop for a restoration. And it is completely barn fresh. 100% original with every part. It's an amazing little piece. And what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to give this thing a test run. <clears throat> the fuel we use for this engine is mixed in this tank. It's illuminating, synthetic illuminating gas. What I've done here is I, I mix 15% propane with 85% hydrogen. And that mimics the characteristics we need for this engine to run on flame ignition. Right now we have about 50 PSI in the tank, it'll run the engine for a long time. We run the pressure out to the engine at about 12, 13 inches of water column, maybe a half a pound pressure. I'll probably throttle that down before we start. And we put the camera down, I'll turn the gas on, we'll light the flame and see what happens. It's got to purge the, uh, the gas out of the air out of line. There we go. I'm going to throttle back the gas supplies a little bit. And the flame you see is actually the readmission flame. There's another flame inside, it's uh, inside one of the spool valves that does the ignition.
There are a few of these engines around and collectors around the country. Uh, as I mentioned, they're very rare. The uh, problem with running these engines is the availability of a fuel source. People have tried to run these on pure hydrogen, which don't work very well. Uh, acetylene, propane, MAP gas, and they don't, none of those gases have the uh, characteristics that are needed um, that are found in the regular illuminating gas with a hydrogen enriched fuel with a little bit of propane, meth, uh, methane, or possibly some carbon monoxide in it. Those, uh, those other additives in it, the 10-15% of those extra fuels give the fuel a slower burn which allow this kind of engine to work. If it were to be run on pure hydrogen, the engine would just give like a pop or a shudder when it fired. The gas burns so fast it doesn't have a time to actually push the piston back. And again, the principle of operation of this engine is a non-compression engine. The air and fuel are drawn in when the piston's at top dead center. The first one-third of the travel of the piston away from the head is suction, where it brings in that air and fuel. At that one-third point, you have ignition. At that point, the uh, piston gets pushed backwards, where your power stroke is, remaining two-thirds of that stroke. So. With the first 180 degrees of travel of the engine, you have intake with air and fuel, ignition, power, and then the return stroke is exhaust. So, in essence, it's kind of a two cycle engine, but it's done without uh, the use of compression. This engine, the whole premise behind this engine was to get around Otto's four stroke cycle patent of 1876. And this engine was built around 1883. Uh, and these were the only uh, styles of engines that could be built at that time uh, because uh, gas motor fabric Deutz in Germany had the, uh, the whole engine market uh, under their belt with their four cycle pad. So here you have it, 1883 Crown, barn fresh. Uh, it's here for restoration and hopefully sometime next year we'll do this again and show the engine when it's done.